do know that they showed off some slick moves in their pools finals match. Where are we going? Wait, is that Apollo? No, is it's that Zane? It literally says Apollo. No, 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 is that Apollo? No, it's Apollo. Is it Zane? Uh, is that Zane? Maybe. Playing Lucas. Lucas? There we go. What? Glaucus. Apollo. This has to be a joke. This is not. This is not real, is it? Yeah, it's, it's a chicken. This isn't Lucas, it's Klaus. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm, you're here for the realist comedy. <laughs> yeah, no, I checked back and apparently this exists. I I feel really confused, disoriented, because I remember all the things that Apollo said about Lucas and about how he hates him. What is going on? Okay. That's fine. Uh, That's okay. Honestly, I'm just never surprised because I remember for weeks on end, I would come into Waypoint Warriors and I would see, oh, Apollo's deciding to go this character this week. Sure. And unfortunately, actually going to SD relatively early there. Uh, PK Thunder got a little bit too close to the edge. The PK Thunder is going to obviously cancel out onto the wall of the stage. Now that he's able to get a little bit of damage going, not able to actually connect the uh, falling air though after the nail. Nice down and into back air. Apollo forced into the corner right now. Going deep for that. Make, trying to really put on that pressure of the PK Thunder recovery. PK Thunder 2 being exploitable is mm -hmm. the word I'll choose to use. But yeah. Lucas is a, a lot less so given its extra distance and more uh, and its multi-hit properties making it harder to interrupt. Yeah, definitely. But you can still just be really, really easily knocked out of it. Um, I don't sure. think coming back to stage is as difficult for Lucas, but actually getting off of ledge is going to be the most difficult part. Palutena being one of the most potent ledge strappers and uh, the peak of the psychokineticons is both like, having yeah. limited off of ledge options. Yeah. Lucas does have access to, that, to the double jump like tether cancels, but once you realize that, oh, Lucas functions a lot like Samus when going off of ledge, then you can just space your shield and be able to punish a lot more effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, as that dropped from ledge, dropped from Halo, F smash. The classic. Okay, so Apollo's shield pressure there was just insane. He just like kept on applying all of his pressure to lay at once, but unfortunately getting the wrong angle onto PK Thunder has to uh, angle it a little bit more vertically under him. Mm -hmm. uh, he went for the full hop there to try to get the, the third one and, and apply more damage. Uh, I was mentioning that earlier with Hydra, how she would go for more consistent strings and not try and extend any of her Nair combos a little bit further sometimes. Which is fair because consistent damage is consistent damage, and it is a lot of damage. <laughs> but Apollo's putting on plenty of pressure trying to use Palutena's lack of uh, grounded tilt uh, frame data. Oh, oh, so that lead on teleport cancel, or I don't even think that was a teleport cancel, I think that was just a whiff teleport, um, yeah, was just so, good. so good. He spaced himself perfectly, he was there a year before there. Apollo has such a good sense of what he wants to do right now, trying to go through the F-Field mix-up, uh, as we said before. Uh, not able to find it, and I don't know about that grab. If he connected it, that might have been the kill hero setup. Yeah, 151, it's looking like any kill, any throw will kill, as that one will do it. Mm -hmm. Lucas does such a like good grab despite it being a tether grab. Tether grabs in general are just arguably I would say better than standing grabs with a couple exceptions. Uh, Palutena being one of them. Mm -hmm. I actually really like that Apollo respected um, Ray's whiffed F tilt. Oh no! That's the SDs! You know, when he was on stage it's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> when he was off stage he kind of just a couple flubs I'll say. Yeah, he was just a little, uh, Apollo was just a little bit too low there to be able to snap onto ledge from the air dodge. You know, Lucas and Ness both having uh, the best air dodges and the directional air dodges in the games. They're good, not that good. Are yeah. they function, are they the same air dodge in terms of distance? Or is like Ness is longer or is Lucas is Um, I believe they should be exactly the same, but I could also be mistaken. I think, I think they're tied the same exact uh, directional air dodge distance. In fact, we could, we could fact check that. Right to the now. internet. <laughs> uh, look at the match there. But before then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, going back to game two, we're starting on PS2 again. 
I feel like the stage definitely benefited Apollo. Just has to be a little bit more comfortable with the recovery. Yeah, he's catching all of these neutral air dodges, making sure he keeps one of Lucas's active hitboxes out as the neutral air, as the new, not neutral air dodge, neutral getup comes up from ledge. Uh, I want to see Utopian Red mix that up a little bit more because that's something that Apollo is definitely just scouting out and getting a lot of damage on. Uh, however, Palutena's natural low percent damage output is going to be so threatening for any character, including Apollo's choice in Lucas at the moment. Back I love stage. the B reverse mix up using the, uh, the freeze. They're completely throwing Gray off of his uh, rhythm, not like ex anticipating that at all. Um, but Apollo is still pretty kept in the corner. Started the uh, magnet a little bit too late. Nice release on the magnet to punish Gray's aggressive uh, approach to try to edge guard him, but that is going to be the explosive thing to take the stop. Gray's a nut. I love that entire ledge sequence because it was just so much pressure because he, always, he kept seeing how Apollo was, as you mentioned, he was avoiding ledge because he didn't want to worry about Lucas's uh, more uh, linear get off of ledge gameplay. He was just kept falling right back onto stage and that let Utopian Ray. Grab, get continuous grabs thrown back off stage, apply so much pressure with these fares and these uh, explosive flames until in inevitably taking that stock yep. super clean from Ray. And there's a nice directional air dodge to get back onto stage. Unfortunately, going to be forced to ledge stuff. Uh, did Apollo hit the ground? Yes. Uh, thankfully, they did. Back to a little bit of stage control, trying to go for the freeze, but like seeing that, you know what, Ray is going to dip down lower. Uh, might as well release it as soon as possible to try to uh, get a two frame. Yeah, that'll do it. These, these platforms are so good for Palutena and, uh, when it comes to this stage, because while she may have lost the down throw bear uh, follow-ups in terms of getting kills, these platforms are at such a height where down throw can start, up, start setting up tech chases at these mid-high percents, and you can tech chase so effectively with things like up air, or in that case, up smash. So something strong. that I've noticed is I think uh, Lucas's full hop is a little bit taller than Palutena's, and I see Apollo trying to lead several jumps out of shield with like a four in, um, but slightly overshooting it. Oh my god. Ooh. Ouch. Good lord. Too bad for you. Kicked into the dirt. Calling child protective services. Man, they just... It was like, I'm not going to let you breathe. I don't think through that entire se sequence, like, Apollo was let to play the game, right? Because, like, Apollo, as Lucas, you either want to be, be keeping your opponent away, but if you're Palutena, you can obviously outcamp Lucas. So, as Lucas, you're trying to be up in the face, you're trying to be, you know, smacking the face with down tilts and up tilts and nail strings and, you know, and down and stuff. Um, and Ray was just not letting Apollo breathe at all. 